Chief Meteorologist Dick Mariano is tracking what's left of the rain, wind, and snow on this first alert action day. Yeah, and a lot of it right now in, in the foothills. And actually, we're seeing something interesting across the foothills where uh, instead of having area wide of moderate rain, we're starting to see bands of some heavier rain that's setting up. In fact, we just learned about the mudslide right in yeah. Colfax. And I, I mean, I believe that this is part of that reason uh, what we're seeing. So well, let's get right into it right now. I'll show you first alert Doppler radar uh, because uh, what you're seeing right now in the foothills are bands of heavier rain. You're looking at the higher rainfall rates in some cases exceeding a half inch per hour, which is actually pretty significant for our area, especially considering the last several storms that we have been experiencing. So what you have here across the foothills, and we're taking a closer look in from Feather Falls to Grass Valley, Auburn, all the way down to the south. You see these bands that are setting up right over here, right? All the way up. And what this tells me is you have enough rising motion, right? When you have a lot of rising motion, you get areas of some heavy rain right under that. And another sign of that is the lightning strikes that we're seeing from all that rising motion. But when you have so much rising motion, some of it has to come down. And the air that comes down creates the lack of rain because uh, sinking air actually dries. So you get these little bands, if you will, of some heavier rain that's setting up right now across parts of the foothills. And along parts of 80, along parts of Colfax, for instance, you have one of those bands sitting right over Colfax. And this has been happening for about the last hour or so we start seeing some moderate rain transition over to these bands of some heavier rain. So this is going to be ongoing and this is why we have a higher flood threat across the foothills through this evening. Down to the south from Pollock Pines to Plymouth Jackson, you're also under one of those bands too. And these actually start off with some showers that were east of Stockton. And this is what it's uh, starting to turn into. To the north across parts of Plumas County, seeing the same thing and then look at up toward Redding. You have some thunderstorm activity across the far northern edge of the Sacramento Valley. And then down to the south toward the San Joaquin Valley, you have the same activity with some heavier rain across parts of Tuolumne County where there is a flood advisory that's in place. So it's all from a storm system area of low pressure, the center of the low is actually right here and you have some energy coming right around it and some dry air helps create some of this activity. But down to the south, this is the atmospheric river event right now. It's doing a lot of rain into much of Southern California. Look at the winds today too in the valley. Gusty winds, Sacramento hit 60 miles per hour across a couple of spots. Now, some of the areas still seeing some high winds, but the strongest winds are now behind us. And as we move ahead, the rain and the wind starts to come to an end tonight. And we'll have a couple of days of some downtime before we start seeing a return to some active weather going into early next week. So I'll show you the seven day forecast. If you'll notice this, there are no red pages there. No first Lord action days. So some quiet weather uh, for at least for now. However, I'm watching Tuesday because that could be the next storm that could bring in some area wide rain, some high elevation snow and more active weather beyond that. But at least it's quiet for going to the end of this week. Yeah. Exactly. We'll keep our yeah. fingers crossed it stays that way. Yeah. Thank you, Nick.